Hello. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Hello, my friend. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, teacher. And you? How are you today? It's very good, man. Oh, genial. Thank you for asking. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? How are you doing? Hey, my job. <laughs> oh, you're working still? Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. Oh my God, you're still working. What happened? Uh, because I, um, I couldn't, I, I couldn't not go at home. You couldn't go home? Yes. Yeah. So you're working all night. And my work is my. Uh, I don't know my storm. The storm the is raining. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 the store. You have a store. Oh. That's your business. Ah, uh -huh. okay, okay. So your business is in your house. No. No. The oh. Other... Yeah. It's a part. Yeah. Well, okay. Thank you for doing the effort and connecting to the class. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello, okay. guys. Say hello. Say hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. Good evening. How you doing? How you doing? I was very busy Spanish. today. Oh, you were very busy today. Really, Naomi? Why? Yes. I document uh, doctors. Año social. Social year. Social years. And internado rotatorio. Rotatory. Rotatory intern. Rotatory intern. Al mm -hmm. Okay, it's difficult, huh? Yes. You're tired. Yes. But you're making money, huh? No. No? You're not making money no. for that? No. So it's like a volunteering thing? Oh, ellos, yes. Mm -hmm. Ellos, yes, money. Money, much, much money. I understand. How are you, Ingrid? What's going on? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, everything is great. Oh, yeah? Okay, that's good to know. Let me say welcome to the rest of the classmates. Say hello, guys. Say hello. Come on. Greet your classmates. Greet the class. Okay, so you are a little shy today, huh? You are a little shy today. You don't want to talk to me. Okay, let's practice your homework then. Let's go with your homework. You have a question, right? You have a question based on based on present perfect. Let's just start with your question. Question, Ingrid, go ahead. You don't have your homework? Uh, no, teacher. I have no, problems yeah, yeah. with my internet yesterday. Oh, sorry about that. Let me hear your yes, question, sorry. Francisco. Your homework. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, um, you forgot uh, your homework. I I know. You didn't do your homework. Okay, you're staying after the class. Sorry. Okay, you're staying after the class. We're gonna sorry. take you to the direction. <laughs> sorry, teacher. I know. No, no, pay attention. I know. Um, I, you didn't I pay attention. Yes, so yes, sorry. You teacher. didn't pay attention. Pay I attention I... to me, Francisco. I'm your what? teacher. Pay me attention. 
Uh, uh, the last part, uh, no. Um, um, okay, let's talk about the homework, okay? Iris, do you have a question for me? In present perfect. Uh, in present perfect? Yes, that's the, that's the topic yesterday. That was the topic yesterday. Okay, fine. I, have you ever had a fat tire and don't have the accessory? Mm, it sounds very bad, it is. I, I'm sorry, I cannot understand. You froze. Naomi, do you have a question, please? Present perfect. Um. Hi. You have a bad connection, it is. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go with no Naomi, okay? Go ahead, Naomi. Do you, do you have a... Um... Do you understand the question, Naomi? Uh, the homework? Okay, Eduardo. No, teacher. Eduardo, you're not making me happy right now, students. You're not making me happy. Um, Eduardo, do you have uh, your homework? I need your present perfect question. If you didn't do your homework, you can improvise the question. It's in present perfect. Ortiz, Mr. Ortiz? In class or missing in action? Missing in action, okay. Alejandra Noches? I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember, okay. At least you are in class, thank you. Uh, Alejandra Noches? Buenas noches. <laughs> Do you have a present perfect question for us? Hello, teacher. I didn't do the homework. I'm sorry. Can you improvise? It's a present perfect question. Take your time. Salvador, do you have a question for us? Good evening, sir. Have you ever eaten garrobo? Thank you for doing your homework. Um, no, I haven't, but I ate kusuko one time. It's not the same, right? Garrobo and kusuko, they are not the same, right? Different. It's different, okay. So I ate kusuko once when I, when I was a child, I remember. What about you, Salvador? Sometimes. So the correct answer is, Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I sometimes eat. Uh, I sometimes eat carrobo. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the interaction. Let's go with Dennis. What you got? Have you ever eat sushi? Eaten. Eaten sushi. Eat, ate, eaten. Repeat the question. Have you ever eaten sushi? Mm, no, I haven't. I never ate um, sushi, but maybe later, maybe one day in the future. What about you? No, I haven't. Why? It's my... Um, um, in the future. In the future, right? <laughs> in, 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 in holidays. In a holiday, in my, maybe. In my, in, my, in my vacation. In your vacation. On, it's on, me, on your it's vacation. My, my, it's my, uh, what plan. is it? Your plan. Um, it's, it's my plan in, in, in December. Nice. Thank you for participating, Dennis. How about you, Sandra? Okay. Teacher, my health question is on the chat. You send a question in the chat. Okay, 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 yes. It's very hard to, to understand you. Have you ever, remember the capital letter? It is la mayuscula, right? Capital letter, capital H. Have you ever had a flat tire 
and do not have the accessories to change it. Also the question mark, remember? The question mark at no, the end. I'm sorry, no pude ponerlo, no sé cómo. I'm it's sorry. okay, it's okay. In that case... Ni contractarlo, no pude. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, once I had a flat tire, but fortunately I remember I had all the, the tools, right? The accessories to, to change the flat tire. How about you? Oh, you can. Can you try to answer, Iris? How about you? Okay, thank you for the interaction, guys. Uh, I would like you to take advantage of this time of practicing, okay? I would like you to pay a little more attention on the homeworks that I let you because they are very small homeworks. It's not something that I that is gonna take you like one hour, you know what I mean? It's not gonna take you, it's not gonna take you like not even 10 minutes. I told you to make um past participle question and few of you did the homework, okay? Shame on you, shame on you. Do your homework, Francisco, everybody, right? Like Dennis, I'm sorry, Michelle, you have a question I know, but we gotta go with the class, okay? We gotta go with the class. So let me share right here. Let me share my screen with you. Let's see, there you go. Please confirm if you can if you can visualize my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. It awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's listen to the audio and watch the video. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, Shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, 
mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence ever. We use then. Lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word. Right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture on the toast. Then, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then, try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first, should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together. Next, toast the slices of bread. After that, so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your idea. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. All right, so you heard the last part? Well, first of all, do you have any question? But you can explain. These are the sequence adverbs, right? It's very easy. It's just it's just for you to follow an order, right? It's starting with first, next, I'm sorry, first, then, next, after that, and finally. Explaining maybe a recipe or how to make something or explaining any process. Do you have any question about this? Hello, do you have any question about this? No question. It's clear. Yes. It's clear like crystal water, huh? No? Yeah. Or it's clear yeah. like horchata? No, like water. Okay, example. See what we have here? We have uh, the ingredients, right? And then we have uh, the uh, explanation of the process. First, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, and finally, right? So if you have any, if you don't have any question, then exercise, exercise time. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes for you to prepare something like that. You can talk about a recipe or you can talk about a process, a process to fix uh, the cell phone or a process to fix 
uh, flat tire, like Ingrid said, it is, pardon, um, prepare one example using the sequence adverbs. What are the sequence adverbs? We have them right here, right? First, then, next, after that, and finally, picture them, picture them, okay? I'm going to give you 10 minutes to prepare your process and then you're going to share it. Let's go, people. Let's go. Let's practice. Prepare it. Prepare it. 10 minutes.
Already, already, ladies and gentlemen, let's start. 10 minutes is over. Show me what you got. I have one message here from, from who? From Eduardo? All right, Eduardo. We're going to pronounce it now. We're going to say it. Please use the sequence adverbs. Please use your knowledge, your creativity, the, sequ the sequence adverbs first, then next, after that, and finally. Okie doke. Let's start with volunteers. Raise your virtual hand, please. Raise your virtual hand. Okay, that's not your virtual hand, but it's your hand, Sandra. Go ahead, let's go with you. What you got? Hello. Hello. Um, to, to make, to make omelette with vegetables. Vegetables? Omelette, vegetables. <laughs> Omel an omelette with vegetables. Ooh, go for it, go for it. First, first put water in the pan. Okay. Chop green, chili, loroco, and tomato. Chop in, okay. Chop it up. Next, beat two eggs. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, put the put the egg in the pan, and on top of. Um, <laughs> on top of it. Um, Okay, okay. At least you have an idea, right? Finally, finally, place finally. Chopper, finally, place the chopped vegetables. Chopped oh. vegetables. Chopped vegetables. Be vegetables. Mm -hmm. On top of of the egg, and make it mozzarella cheese. Perfect. And it's ready. And it's ready to go. Thank you. Next, ready. next, next. Eduardo, go ahead, Mr. Ortiz. My Just recipe be quicker. Is, mm -hmm. is recipe for empanadas. Recipe. Recipe, it's a recipe wow. for empanadas. Ooh. I want to copy this. Go ahead. Here's we mix the dough. Then we make the tortilla. Next, we apply the filling. After that, the empanada was freed, fried. 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 Finally, we apply cinnamon and sugar to taste. To taste. To Ooh, taste. And it's ready to go, huh? I'm getting hungry. Do you have a better connection, Iris? Do you have a better connection? Uh, I'm fine. Try the connection. No, no, no. You still have a bad connection, honey. I'm sorry. Raise your virtual hand, guys. Raise your virtual hand, please. Who's ready? Teacher. Who? Okay, let's go with Salvador. How to change a veneer? Chapa, no sé cómo se dice. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I can't hear anything, sir. Okay, so you're not ready. You have to be ready. Let me go with um, Naomi. Go ahead, Naomi. Recipe the pizza. Recipe to make pizza. To make pizza. Recipe to make pizza. First, spread tomato paste. Spread. Spread. Uh huh. Tomato spread. Then. 
mozzarella cheese. Okay. Cheese mozzarella. Then, then, then add, add the mozzarella cheese or? Add the mozzarella cheese. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. Then uh, the pan arabe. Okay, Arabic. Okay. Next, a uh, mix of uh, tomatoes, onion, and jamón. Jam. After that, the uh, After that, onion, pimiento, cheese, and finally, I put it in the horno. And the what? In the oven. Finally, I put it in the oven. Oh, okay, I got it. In the, the oven. oven, okay. And it's ready. In the, in the reds. It's ready, okay, okay, okay. Okay, are you ready now, Salvador? Yes. Yes. Okay, how do you say chapa? Um, veneer. Okay, you can also say lock. Lock. Uh, it could be like similar to to candado, right? Chapa on the door. Mm. También se puede decir lock. L O C K. Muy bien. Uh, first, I buy and the lock. Then I look for the desarmador. ¿Cómo se dice? Okay, if you need to search vocabulary, you need to search vocabulary, Salvador. Okay, get get your paragraph ready. Okay, get your paragraph ready. Yes. No, you need to put it in English, sir. You need to put it in English. Remember that you can use your resources. You are an intermediate student, okay? Try to research, try to use, try to do your investigation. I gave you 10 minutes. I gave you 10 minutes to prepare. Come on, come on, come on. Who's ready? Ingrid, Oscar, raise your hands. Me, teacher. Okay, Ingrid, go ahead. How to make French fries. French fries. French fries, my favorite food. Okay. First, you have to wash the potatoes very well. Then, you cut into in into small pieces. You, you cut. Next, cut in into small pieces. Yes. That's right. Okay. Yes. Next, put a pan over low heat with enough oil. With enough. That's right. Enough. enough oil. oil. You pour the potatoes into the pan. After that. Cook for 15 minutes. Okay. And finally, you enjoy with your favorite dressing. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Watch the corrections on the pronunciation. A little, uh, a few words there. So just check it out, like enough, right? What else? Um, I don't know if dressing or dressing. Dressing. Which means ader aderezo, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Dressing. Dressing. What is your favorite dressing, Ingrid? Um, how do you say? No sé cómo se dice salsa barbacoa, no sé. Bar barbecue? Barbecue, yeah. Sauce, yeah, salsa, sauce. That's okay, a difficult okay. one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm basic. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Somebody else? Oscar, you ready, Oscar? Sweet bread. I'm sorry? Sweet, sweet, sweet bread. Sweet bread. All uh, right. We prepare the wheat dough. Uh, first, we prepare the wheat dough. Then, mix the wheat dough. With sugar. Uh, next, we add a little milk. Uh, after that, uh, we chop it. Finally, 
uh, we bake his of the bear. Okay, okay, we okay. Bake his, his of the bread. Yeah, what happens is that we have a little bad connection with you, but thank you so much for your effort, Oscar. Thank you, we appreciate it. Okay, who else is ready? Who else is ready for your process? Explaining a process with the frequent, with the sequence adverbs or explaining a recipe, how to make something, how to make pizza, how to make uh, a lemonade, how to make coffee, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a different participation? Francisco, Michelle, Vidal, Andrea, Eliseo, what happening? Do you have something? If you if you can't cook, you can talk about a different process, right? Okay. I'm going to talk about uh, step by step to wash my hands. Okay, excellent. Listen, guys. Okay. First, uh, I go to the bus wash basin, and after that, I open the tap. Next, I apply soup in my hand to soap. this soap. 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 Soap in my hand. After that, uh, I I add more water mm -hmm. and finally I dry my hand with a towel mm -hmm. if I am in my house, but if I am in other place, I dry my hand with toilet paper. Paper. Applauses for you, gentlemen. Congratulations. Good job. Good mm -hmm. job, man. You actually did something different. And that was amazing. That was an amazing job. You look for your own vocabulary and worked yourself. As intermediate students, you have to depend the least of your teacher because right now you have a lot of knowledge. You have a lot of information and you have to succeed. You have to troubleshoot. If you don't know something, you have to Google it. You have to use dictionaries. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Good job, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Somebody else? Uh, Hello? This bell, this bell can be used for any process. I'm sorry, can this, you repeat? This bell, this bell can be used for any process. Can you chat me the information, Oscar? Can you chat okay. it? I don't understand. I'm sorry. Okay. Somebody has a different participation. Let's go with the next topic because we have to move on. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Thank you for your participation. If you couldn't participate, please send your chat send your chat so I can consider your participation in this class. Thank you for the ones who try. Thank you for the ones who try. And let's go with the next objective. Future tense is what we use to discuss our plans or hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense.
Creo que el profe se cayó, ¿no? <ríe> ah, no, pues no. Lo vi trabado. Sorry. Hola, ¿qué pasó? No es que lo vi como, oh, como que se le había congelado la pantalla, creo que se había caído. En serio. O sea, se había desconectado. Ok, we're going to start over. Teacher, ahí le escribí en el chat. Yo igual, pero me dio pena hablar ahora. <ríe> ok, let me check. Okay, let's try again. In your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what places I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans in order to express these ideas you're going to use be going to to express that so for example i'm going to take vacations next week i'm going to go to f france that's just a quick example there um, you're almost sure that that event will happen on the other hand let's say that you're gonna uh, you want to take vacation but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you are thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. 
in order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to we're going to have some sort of subject so in this case I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend okay that's what I want to express um, and so in order for us to form that idea I'm going to have some sort of subject this is going to follow the verb to be and then this is going to follow going to if you notice going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future and then this is going to follow the verb in its present form and then whatever complements so like in this case I'm going to stay home for the weekend right so this is what I've decided on doing that's my plan and so if you see towards the left side of the chart we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the OK, so to talk about the first uh, structure is where we talk about plans you've decided on right plans that you are a hundred percent sure about you use the subject you use the verb to be going to the verb in the base form right in the complement for example if i ask you what are you going to do after the class what are you going to do after the class who can answer me something you're sure about I am going to have dinner. For sure, right? And after, I am going to sleep. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Who else? What are you going to do after class? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hello. Talk to me. Uh -huh, Oscar, what are you going to do after class? I am going to... Preparar, preparar the computer and... Um, you're going to? And camera, and camera. I am going. I am going to prepare... Prepare? Prepare uh, the computer and the camera. All right. You're going to work, huh? You're going to work. That's mm -hmm. good. What about you, Francisco? What are you going to do after class? Uh, I am going to uh, play to her in sleep. You're going to? I play, <laughs> I'm going to uh, uh, play uh, video games to her in sleep. And then <laughs> sleep. That's ten good. Sleep. Yes, yes. That's good. What about you, Ingrid? What are you going to do after the class? I am going to help to my sister with uh, his homework her i am going to help my sister i am going to help my sister with her homework repeat okay i am going to help to my sister with uh -uh. her homework uh -uh. to my sister no i'm going oh. to help my sister um, my sister okay i'm going to help my sister with her homework you got it you got it thank you Thank you, thank Let's you. see, Iris, can you speak? Can you try, please, Iris? Can you try? I am going to the, the take a shower, teacher. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I am going to take a shower. That's a perfect example. Thank you. And then? And then? And then? And then, and the, and then, um, uh, they prepare, they prepare the different, uh, prepare, they prepare, they prepare, Pre prepare, no, 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 prepare. prepare, prepare, I am going to prepare, I am going, I am going to prepare, no, 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 going to, I am going to prepare, Different lunch. Correct. Different lunches. 
lunches. Uh huh. Because it's, it's not only one, right? It's plural, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. By lunches. Correct. Lunches. Lunches. Thank you. What about you, Naomi? What are you going to do after the class? I'm going to uh, watch TV uh, at my son. With my son. Uh, with, with my son. Good job, Mrs. Estrada. Uh, let you. me see, Sandra. What about you, Sandra Cruz? What about you, Miss Michelle Barrientos? I am going to play play soccer. Really? My my son with my son. <laughs> and then with my son. Uh huh. And after that, tomorrow. Okay. And after that. <laughs> ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más va a ser? Um, ir en pizza. Mm, I'm go we're going, we are going to eat pizza. Oh, okay. Future, we are going to eat pizza. We are go going. Going. We going. are. We are. To be. Going to. We are going. Going to. Uh -huh. Ir, eating pizza. Eating, ¿por qué, por qué con ing? Eating, eat pizza. Eat, ajá, después del going to, el verbo va en su forma base. Eat pizza. Ajá. Thank you. Michelle Barrientos, are you there? No? Nobody else? Okay, guys, thank you for your attention. It's 9 p.m. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good sleep. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, teacher. bye, 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 bye teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Same time, same place. Night, night, night.